Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Well, today I want to show you uh, a new technique. I was testing out the dual reamp by Attic Audio, and if you're stuck with only one guitar take, essentially stereoize that mono guitar performance. It sounds great in mono when it sums, and it actually sounds great as a stereo guitar sound. So, I mean, this one's going to be a good one. Stick around. You know, I love products that give birth to new ideas, uh, slightly different ways of thinking. I first thought of this idea because there was a phase flip on the channel two. I was doing multiple passes, just doing some shootouts. And I realized, well, what if I actually send an out of phase signal to a guitar amp? On the way back in, I could flip it again. So it's still going to be right side up, but at the amp, and at the amp only, it's going to be flipped. So speakers don't like to be flipped out of phase like this. They wanna be pushing air out first and then retracting. And so low frequencies are gonna change. I mean, it just, it changes how the speaker reacts. There's no way that it can do the same job that it did on a normal pass of reamping. So imagine this. We do one pass, normal, then we do another pass, and we flip the polarity, so now we're feeding an upside down waveform to the amp. It's going to react differently. Preamp, we flip it back so they're both right side up. Coming in, we hard pan them. Boom. You know, this this is freaking great. I, I about screamed when I, I realized this is actually working, okay? I've been looking for something like this for a while to make uh, like guitar solos pop a little better. I just hate mono guitar. I love stereo guitar. Check this out. hearing is a stereo mix of the same DI track played through the amp twice except on the second pass the amp was run with the polarity flipped. So in this example I'm going to show you the exact same concept but all performed in the DAW. This last test showed that both passes using this technique are able to sum together perfectly in mono. It also shows the importance of correcting the polarity after the amp, whether you do it at the preamp or the channel in the DAW, because if you don't correct the polarity, it'll just mostly cancel out. Okay, was that not freaking cool or what? I mean, this is, this is cool. Now, the question is from here is, how do we get really good fidelity out of this? If we want to take, say, a drum machine, put it through a speaker, maybe a full range speaker, do this same trick. Can we also stereoize drum loops, things like that? Um, this technique works fabulous in mono. Uh, you can hear it clearly. It just, it sounds exactly the same. It's just not stereo. And of course, we have the exact same mic positioning. So we're literally just changing the polarity. We're changing the polarity of the signal that goes out to the amp. Uh, we flip it right side up at the preamp. So both signals are right side up. We literally just have an amp that is stressed out because we're sending it an upside down signal. And because of that, we hard pan it. We have a single guitar performance right down the middle 
the low end is all there, but that high end, that high end distortion is out to the sides. Let me know what you think of this. Be hanging out in the comments below.